60,000 pounds of explosive chemicals somehow just disappeared. They went poof. That's right. A rail car carrying 30 tons of ammonium nitrate is gone. Now, if that substance sounds remotely familiar to you, it's because it's the same stuff that notorious Timothy McVeigh used to blow up the Oklahoma City building in one of the largest domestic terrorist events in U.S. history. The difference, he used only 5,000 pounds of the stuff, and we're talking about 60,000 pounds of it. That's 12 times as much, and it's just missing. Now, the company that loaded up on the train and shipped it off to its destination was called Dino Noble. And as their name implies, they make Dino Might and other explosives. That makes, they make lots of them. But when they were asked about the rail car showing up empty at its destination, a spokesperson for the company said that they suspect it was merely a leak and it occurred uh, along the way and it poses no threat, no threat whatsoever, not to the environment, not to anyone, not to the communities. You know, I'm not worried about the communities. I'm not worried about the environment. I'm worried about 60,000 pounds of ammonium nitrate, the same stuff that's used to make explosive devices. Now, I guess since the chemical is also used as fertilizer, everyone is just waiting for the grass along the rail line to green up from it so we can all just go back to sleep and pretend it never happened. But for me, I am more concerned about this than most. You see, folks, we've heard sound bites like this before, and no doubt the powers that be want to keep this one on the down low. So we're not going to see it on the front page of the Times. In fact, I could only find four news articles in total about it today, two days later. Now, why cause panic, right? That's the play. So here's why. 60,000 pounds of ammonium nitrate is unaccounted for. And that can make a lot of bombs. A lot of bombs. Just Google it. This stuff is powerful. What you're going to find is that ammonium nitrate forms all kinds of explosives when it's combined with other things like TNT, aluminum powder, or just plain old fuel oil. Yep, if you combine ammonium nitrate with that last one, fuel oil, it makes what they call ANFO. They even have a name for it. It's so simple, it's widely used as a bulk industrial explosive. And it's the same stuff that McVeigh used. So if you think that Oklahoma City in 1995 was an isolated incident, think again. Ammonium nitrate-based explosives were also used in the Sterling Hall bombing way back in 1970 in Madison, Wisconsin. It was also used in 2011 in Delhi, and again in Oslo, and then in 2013 in India, Hyderabad again. Now, in fact, the substance posed such a threat that the government of Pakistan has actually imposed a ban on it to prevent insurgents from using this cheap, easy to make, easy to use, easy to hide explosive. But what are we told? We're, we're told, don't worry about it. There's nothing to worry about. Some people at the rail line that did the shipping, Union Pacific, they also said that there's nothing to worry about. It was probably a leak, and the only thing we're going to see is, is green grass along the tracks. Yeah, because it's not their fault, right? Really. Come on. We're not dumb. They obviously don't understand mankind, man's nature. I'm talking about boys and their bombs. And if it's bad boys and bad men that get their hands on 60,000 pounds of explosive ingredient, well, I think bad things are going to happen. And besides that, I really don't trust the people feeding us these lines anymore. Think about it. This stuff was shipped last month. The report of it missing was filed on May 10th. And now, another week later, the public, we, are finally hearing about it. And it left the train station full, and it arrived empty. Somewhere along the way, somebody emptied it. It doesn't happen by accident. Something's going on. And it just might explain why one of my sources and other observers have counted well over 1,000 observation flights that have been circling the western states. They're looking for something in the past couple of weeks especially. Hmm. I wonder what it could be. It seems just a little bit early for deer season, don't you think? Sure enough. So tell me, what do you think's going on, Wolfpack? Am I overreacting here? Should we all go, just go back to sleep, trust everything's going to be okay? Or maybe you're a little suspicious too. So please, share your comments below. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you get other important updates. And hit that like button. But until next time, be ready, be strong, be alert, and keep on prepping.